Hello and welcome back to the channel. We continue our journey through the beautiful region of Tuscany. And on this occasion, we visit the small walled village of Gargonza. Afterwards, we head to Monte San Savino, where we will enjoy its monuments as we walk through its narrow paved streets. And if you like our video do not forget to like it, subscribe and activate notifications so that you know when we upload a new video. Gargonza, located on a hill that dominates the Val di Chiana, is within the municipality of Monte San Savino, which we will visit later. As for parking you will have no problem, as you have a large free parking right at the entrance of the village, and of which as always we leave the location in Google Maps. After parking our vehicle, we find ourselves with a pleasant surprise, in the form of a good number of old vehicles, parked at the entrance of the village. We access Gargonza through a paved street, which at first, does not let you guess the beauty of this small village of Tuscany. Immersed in the forest overlooking the countryside of Tuscany, Gargonza was founded by Count Ubertini, being the subject of disputes from the early years of its birth, at the heart of the conflicts between the Guelphs and the Ghibellines, due to its position. According to many historians, it was also Dante's home in 1304. In fact, in this place, he participated in a meeting between the Florentine Ghibellines and the Arentines. After World War II, Gargonza remained empty, but in the 1970s, a demanding restoration work was carried out, resulting in nining the architectural values of an ancient medieval villa. From the north gate we access the village, which today is basically a tourist complex, with old houses renovated and used as a widespread hotel, in which the castle stands out above all. The village is built within a solid circuit of walls, which recalls its ancient fortress functions. The rows of houses are almost forced to follow the annular shape of the walls themselves. Within its walls, dating from the 13th century, we can admire the tower of the castle or the small Romanesque church from the 13th century. And as we always say that an image is worth a thousand words, we let you enjoy a walk through this small and beautiful medieval town.
After the visit to the small village of Gargonza, we moved seven kilometers to Monte San Savino, a wall town of Etruscan origin, and which, like Gargonza, was the scene of clashes between Guelphs and Ghibellines. As for parking you will have no problem, as you have parking along the entire wall site, and in the description we leave you the location in Google Maps of the parking we use to begin the visit. To Corso San Gallo, the main street of Monte San Savino, we access through the Porta Fiorentina, one of the four gates of access to this walled city. In a short time we arrived at the Palazzo di Monte, now the seat of the municipal administration, drawing attention. Right in front, the beautiful gates of the Loggia dei Mercati, dating from the 16th century, and which in principle used to be used as a barrier. In the Palazzo dei Monti, after crossing a beautiful cloister and a small bridge, we access a garden built on two levels. After the visit to the Palazzo and the gardens, between the palace and the Suffragio church, we find the Cisternone, a place that is not very well indicated. We have free access to this recently restored 16th century cistern. A metal passageway allows us to visit the cistern, composed of two ships communicated with each other by four large arches. Situated under the gardens of the Palazzo dei Monti, it is one of the largest reservoirs in Tuscany, perfectly restored, and that is worth a visit. Following the Corso San Gallo, we arrive at the Chiesa de la Misericordia, or Church of Mercy, built in the 12th century, and dedicated to the Saints Egidio and Sabino, and in whose interior, besides admiring one of the oldest tube organs in Italy, we can see a pair of funerary cars used in the 19th and 20th centuries. Very close we find the Palazzo Pretorio and the Civic Tower, dating from the 14th century, whose facade is plagued with shields and symbols of the noble families of the time and crowned by a huge clock. Access to the mine tower is free, and from it you will have an impressive view of Monte San Savino, in which in addition to what is described in our quick visit, you will be able to enjoy more palaces and churches.